happy Wednesday. I'm currently in Orlando, back in my college town with my little. We are finally reunited after like almost a whole year. The last time we saw each other, you gave me my paddle. I did. And it was when we got off council. It was. And became relevant, yeah. officially. <laughs> that was a sad time, but it's okay. Um, we are big little and we are both in the sorority of Kappa Delta here at UCF. And there's a new addition to the fam. So hopefully I get to meet her tonight, but I think she like randomly got pink eye. So I don't know if she's coming anymore, but I hope she is, but we'll see. <laughs> But we're having a fam dinner tonight and I'm really excited because we're going to one of my favorite sushi restaurants here and it's called Sushi Pop and they just have really cool sushi rolls like just very different. There's like our favorite ones like the ceviche roll <laughs> and it's just really different. It's like you squeeze the lime on it. It's just so good. So the reason why Valentina hasn't been here for a year is because she went studying abroad and she was living her best life and she was hashtag thriving. Rafa's was running late. Oh, okay. So... The new edition is coming. I get to meet her. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she was studying abroad and I was telling her that I literally didn't know 21 year old Valentina because she turned 21 in, where, where was it again? Dublin. Dublin. During St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm -hmm. So like, that's pretty cool. You have like the coolest life ever. I'll vlog a little bit later and have you guys meet the fam again. I'm gonna link down below well, my sorority playlist because maybe some of you guys are interested in that. Um, and then I'm going to link some vlogs of me and my fam. Like our big little... TBT. <laughs> and then... Do I have a vlog of you getting me my paddle? So many years ago. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'll link it down below so you guys can binge our whole fam. It's my little's little, so this is my G little. Yes. And coming in the car now, it's going to be getting my GG and my GGG. No. And now I just went. GGG is meeting us there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I thought it was going to be really, really old. I was like, shit. Um, <laughs> I have like major um, deja vu from like my big little because we had like the same. We were in my car and yeah. you had the camera. Yeah. And you're like, this is my G. <laughs> yeah, I know. I told them that I would link all my, our fam vlogs down below. Oh. Yeah. Wait, yeah, I want to watch them all together. I know. It's kind of fun watching, like, vlogs back, because there's literally just, like, home videos. I know. Like, oh, my God, it's me. I know. We made it. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Welcome back hey. to the vlog. Oh, I missed you. I made it, Mama. I'm famous. Little. Okay, this is my, I don't even know what you are, to be this honest. This is my, oh my little, <laughs> triple G. My, my little rap. This is Sonali's triple G. G. No, double Wait, G. What? No, triple no, G. Triple G. G. Oh, I'm right, yeah. Get it right. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 sorry
So it is currently Friday and I know this vlog is kind of like all over the place, but today is a very exciting day because I get my Invisalign, um, what's it called? Like attachments off. So I will have smooth teeth and I'm officially done with my um, retainers. So that's really exciting. Hey y'all. So I realized I didn't really say why I was back in Orlando. I went back to take graduation portraits, so if you guys are interested, you can follow my productions account and see more of those photos. It's Saturday, and I really don't think I vlogged anything after I told you guys I was going to get my Invisalign or retainer att attachments off, and so this is my smile. I mean, you guys probably like can't really tell because... Like in most of my videos, I didn't really wear my Invisalign, so it just like looks like this because the attachments were actually on the back. Usually they don't do that, but I talked them into it, so um, that's why you didn't really see like anything on the front of my teeth, which was prime. Um, but I mean, honestly, like there is still like some things that I could have like fixed and I could have like asked for more retainers, but I was like so over it. Plus, I'm like in Austin, Texas and the orthodontics is in Orlando, Florida. So it was just like time to get it off so I can just like not have to come back. I know I haven't vlogged that much, um, but I just kind of wanted to like compile all these clips just so I could like have them for memories, especially giving my little her jersey. I know what majority of you guys do not know anything about sororities and like if you're not in a sorority, like it's so hard to understand. I remember before going through recruitment, my sister was in a sorority and she was trying to explain recruitment to me and just like sororities in general. And I was just like, I don't know what these words mean. Like I literally, she could explain it like so in depth. And I was like, I still don't get it. So it's definitely hard to understand when you're not in the organization. I feel like that goes for anything. Um, but I thought I would just like try to explain it. So it's just kind of a tradition that my little sister gives me a paddle and then I give her a jersey. And so the paddles, I'll like put some pictures on this clip right here. The paddles can like look like anything pretty much. It used to be like a wooden paddle and like no one would really do anything different. But now people are doing like different things like a cheese board like actual wall, wall decorations. I'll put a picture of like what Valentina gave me. It's like a really cool like love like decor thing. And now they're calling that a paddle. It's kind of hard to make a wooden paddle like useful. So people are just trying to make it different now. And that goes for the jersey too. They're like these sweatshirts, like they're usually like quarter zips or like crew necks or something. And then they'll have like your like nickname in your sorority or like what people call you on the back and then it'll have like your fam number and just like all these little like patches on it but now our people are just getting like hoodies and like like really nice like sweatshirts and just putting like their nickname on it so people will actually like wear it and want to wear it because it's a lot of money for those traditional jerseys i think that i've heard they're like around 130 dollars and that's like a lot of money to spend on a sweatshirt, especially because you already spent so much on your little for big little and like other things. I just thought I would kind of explain that because I know not everyone's in a sorority and they don't like get it. I would have given Valentina her jersey a while back, but it's supposed to be that the little gives the big the paddle first. And she literally gave me my paddle the last day I saw her before she was going to study abroad. So... I gave her her jersey like the first day I saw her again so that I guess worked out but I just like didn't know if I would like come back to Orlando or like when I would give it to her so it worked out in the end. I think it's like one or something but I'm going to bento with my two besties Charlotte and Kaylin and then after that I have a sunset shoot so I'm just gonna like ask them to drop me off on campus so I could just like be there and I'll have to pay for an uber because the bus shuttles don't run on the weekends so it kind of sucks not having a car here but I've been you know adapting and trying to like use Lyft because I have like a coupon code and stuff it definitely takes a lot longer though but I think Kaylin's gonna be here in a little so I'm gonna pack up and go to Bento Sunday and it's actually my last day in Orlando. I have two more shoots this afternoon slash sunset and I'm meeting up with my friend Star in the morning for breakfast 
and I also just want to take some photos of her because I just like want different content for my Instagram so I thought we would get like dressed up and just take a few pictures of each other um and I think we're gonna go to First Watch which is like one of my favorite breakfast places here in Orlando. Almost every day that I've been here I've been going to like a Starbucks and just working in between shoots and hanging out with my friends and I've gotten so much done and I really just need to go to Starbucks like when I get home not every day because I know I wouldn't do that but maybe like starting two times per week because I just think it's so helpful like you see all these people working around you it's kind of like orange theory in a way like you see all these people like grinding and like doing their thing and like it motivates you you know so that is going to be a new goal for me like going to a Starbucks just getting out of my house in general two times per week so I decided if I don't have a job by next May I'm definitely going to come back for grad shoots because there are just so many people that have asked me like if I'm coming back for spring and so I feel like that's a good sign like I feel like I should definitely come back you know if, especially if I'm not doing anything like if I don't have a job it's a fun way to make some cash if you guys go to UT or UCF and you are interested in me taking your grad picks next semester for spring 2020 then DM me on my personal or productions account and I can get you on my list um, but obviously I have to like pay for their flight and possibly like a hotel room and stuff like that but next time since it will be like actual graduation like not everyone graduates in December I'm sorry what happened to my voice um <clears throat> not everyone graduates in December most people graduate in May so I know I'm just gonna get like almost like triple or quadruple the people I got this um semester so I'm looking forward to that I'm getting home pretty late tonight like 11 or something um, but tomorrow, Ryan actually has the day off, which is perfect because I just get so sad when I don't spend time with him on the weekends because it's just like my favorite thing. Like he doesn't have to work. Like we can take advantage of the sunlight because of daylight savings time. Like right when he gets home from work, we literally have maybe 30 minutes until the sun goes down and it's going to just keep getting shorter. I can't even complain because like I don't really work, so I don't have that problem, but I like to do things with him like after work. And that's kind of like my chance to like get out of the house and get fresh air kind of thing. But I also checked the weather and I think it's going to rain. So crossing my fingers that changes because I just like want to get out of the house, do something fun on Monday. Hopefully I can vlog it for you guys. And I also want to do a work week in my life, which I've never done. I put up a video and it was like um, something about unemployment and people were commenting like, girl, you're self-employed. And I'm like, damn, I am, you know, and it's just like. It took a while to realize this and I kind of want to do like a whole video on it like just just like the whole not even drama but just like the whole situation of like post-grad job hunting for me but now that I've kind of like accepted where I am in my career I guess <laughs> it's weird to say um I do kind of want to do a week in my life because there's a lot of things going on this week, so it'll be fun. I think I have like an hour once I get home from my last shoot to pack everything up, but I just wanna like get everything like kind of like sorted out and like clean up a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna have breakfast with Star. I'm so excited to see her. It just like makes my heart so happy seeing all these friends that I haven't seen in so long because I literally used to see these girls like every single day, if not like multiple times a day because I lived in a sorority house, so. I would just like see them and like talk to them at meal plan and like hang out with them and all that sort of stuff. So it makes my heart so happy that I'm just seeing everyone again.